What's up everybody? Back at you today with another build video. So it's October and you know what time that is. That means it's Halloween. So Halloween is my favorite season, so I'm raring to go on this one. Today I built for you the infamous Scarecrow from Batman. Scare me. And it's designed by Berserk 3D, the same guys who brought you Wicked Art. So enough of that, let's get into it. So everything's primered at this point. And I am going into the horse here and just laying down a black base coat. That way it gives me a good groundwork for um, what is about to come. This is my first time ever painting a horse. So I am just going in using just a basic black from Vallejo. And then after that, I'm going in and I'm using a metallic gray for the armor. Uh, some people may choose to use a different color or this may be some type of leather armor, but I chose to use it as a metallic armor. I just think it would look better on the horse. And this metallic gray is actually from uh, Tamiya. Goes on really, really smooth. Covers a lot of area. So then, once I'm complete with that, then I'm going to go into the saddle blanket, I believe it's what it's called. And then I'm going to use a deep red for this. This actually takes a couple of coats to cover all this and then I'll actually go back in later on and uh, do some shading in there with the airbrush hit it with some black and then put a little bit of a light lighter red highlights on it just to bring out some contrast and to bring out those peak areas So then right here I'm using a wash, it's just a black wash from Vallejo uh, to go all over the armor and what that does is it brings out a lot of those uh, details as you can see a lot of that coming out, cracks and crevices and uh, a lot of the uh, details that are within the sculpt. Once this is dry it'll really pop. And then also I'll go back in a little later once it's dry and hit it with some silver highlights and while that dries I start on the figure itself on the shirt I use a light earth tone brown and give it just a good solid coat and I'll actually be doing a wash on this as well and I'll be painting the pants a little bit of a darker brown. This stuff has a lot of detail in both the, uh, the pants and the shirt with the stitching. And it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of ripples. So what I want to do is I want to put in a good wash on that and bring out some of those highlights. If you notice too, there's a few patches on the pants that I'll actually paint those a lighter brown. And with the base, I'm just getting a good solid black with my um, ink that I use all the time. This will lay a good foundation for the details in the canisters, the rock base, and then there's a metallic base on the bottom. And here's where I'm actually using the shading from Citadel. I can't remember the name of it, but it is a, uh, a brown shade. And this actually goes and brings out a lot of that stitching and a lot of the texture into the shirt. <clears throat> so a little bit later on, I'll actually also use the airbrush to bring out some of the uh, some of the depth into the shading on the shirt 
I'll actually bring out some of that um, peaks on the ripples with a little bit of a lighter color. And on the black, on the pants, I use a black nightshade as well. Looking for the same effect on this, I'm looking to fill a lot of these cracks and crevices that way I can go back in and bring out some of the highlights with a lighter brown. And then I will go back into it a little bit later with the airbrush and do a lot of the shading on that as well. So again, while that is drying, then I'm going to go in with the mix of green that I uh, come up with to closely match the base. And there's a reason why you don't see the base in this because uh, I want it to be a surprise at the end. So I'll let you see what I've actually done with it. And then I'll go back in with some of the detail work like I'm doing right now on the horn and the eyes and teeth. And what I'm doing is I'm just getting all of this block work in and I'll go back in and do some washes and some shading on that a little bit later on to help bring those details out. And yes, the horse does have teeth in its neck. It actually has a mandible um, or a mouth if you will. And right here is where I'm doing some of the dry brushing once the washes have dried. It brings out a lot of those high peaks and the ripples and the bends. It helps bring out a lot of that texture in the shirt and the pants. So here I am. Uh, filling in some other areas that need a little bit of work like the shoes. I'm going to go ahead and do the basic blocking in on those as well. I'll actually go in once these are dry and with a little bit of dry brushing uh, some brown to, again to bring out some of the highlights. And on the face I've done a lot of the work already because I have to use my uh, extra set of eyes to get into some of the detail. Even though this is 1 6, it feels like I'm painting a 1 10 scale because it's fairly small. But here I am just putting in the last bit of details on the eyes and the teeth. And then I'm going in for a little bit of a bloodshot look here on the eyes with a red wash. I've already highlighted a lot of the hair with a little bit of a beige and a yellow mixture. And on the Sith here, I am just going in and blocking in the metallic gray. I also did this in translucent resin um, for the same, to match the, uh, to match the base. The base was done in green translucent resin by Elagoo. And so once I'm done with this, I'll actually go in and do a black wash on it and use a silver to bring some of those highlights out. And this is the horse so far. Still a little bit of work to do. Then on the base here, I start on the detail work where I am going in on the bottom and using metallic gray as well for the metallic part of the base. And I'm also going to do uh, some gray dry brushing um, on that as well to, look, to get some flat spots. The rock will be a painted a solid gray as well. And then I will actually do a black wash on it. And the canisters will actually have a silver top and bottom. 
and then I will go and paint the center a lime green sort of like I mixed up before that I painted the horse's uh, smoke from his eyes and I will be doing some dry brushing on some of the canisters and here you have it and this is the completed model look at that base guys that's why I wanted to wait till the end and there you have it all done with complete with 50 LEDs and the translucent green base and this project is done So there you got it everybody. Uh, if you like seeing these videos with builds, tutorials and stuff, make sure you hit that like button right now and subscribe to my channel uh, for future videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also consider subscribing to my Patreon. The link is down below in the description. I've got exclusive content for my Patreons and I'm going to start posting some behind the scenes stuff as well. You requested it, you got it. And when you support my Patreon, all that goes back into the channel, helping me make better videos with better content. So that's a wrap on this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And until the next video or the next build, be safe out there and see ya. You know, I got something for that gingivitis stuff going on right there. <laughs>